What if I told you that you already possess inside of you the raw ingredients to inspire deep emotional connection, bonding, and commitment from a great man who chooses you unequivocally above all others? And what if I told you that with six simple shifts of your approach, you could unleash the most radiant and attractive version of you, the kind that attracts multiple options in terms of men and becomes irreplaceable to the right guy? If you've been struggling to stand out with men, this video is for you. If you're watching this video, my guess is you're having a hard time attracting the kind of connection and depth you want with someone. And I'm here to say that, first of all, my heart is with you because it's not an easy process, but it's doable. You might be metaphorically trying to push a boulder off a cliff and you're trying your hardest and sweating and after days and days, you're not pushing that thing. But if you were to get a lever, which is a tool you can put into that a rock with one arm, you can do the work of 20, 30 human beings. So the shifts that I'm inviting you to step into today work like a lever. They're going to help you to, with less effort, still effort, but less effort, create a better return on your investment of time and energy. The first shift I'm going to ask you to make, if you really want to create that devotion and that unique recognition from someone, is that you become your full, open expression from early on. I heard a phrase once that said, the open expression of who you really are is the only thing that will free you from the stress of feeling incomplete. In truth, you are what you want. So what that means is that you will want lots of things in life, but when those things don't get met with an open expression of you, it will never be enough. You could have the right guy and it still feel like it's not enough. So when you start expressing who you are from the beginning, you're doing something, you're magnifying, you're shouting to the four winds, this is who I am. You're making it easier for the guy who is going to be the hell yes type of energy for you to witness you, to appreciate you, to see you, to hear you, and to be all in. And for the guy who's not a clear fit for you to self-disqualify early in the process. A lot of women that I connect with are being really shy about expressing who they are. They're not expressing their ideas, their strengths, their values, because they feel like if I were to share these things about myself, if I were to really be my unapologetic self, then he may not want me. And if he may not want you for being your true self, then F him. You don't want him. You don't need him. He's not going to be an addition to your life. But if through you being more clear, if through you playing up your strengths and your awesomeness and your uniqueness from early on makes the guy that would have taken months to connect with you, to see you, and to feel inspired to pursue you, then you're doing an amazing job. I love for you. Here's the thing. If you do nothing else from this video, but just this one thing, this will shift your life. Be one, two, three, four, five percent more up into who you really are, expressing the truth of the inside of you. I want to embody the poem of Rumi who said, who you are shouts so loudly at my being that I cannot hear what you're saying. Number two, express what you want from early in the process. And there's going to be three different areas of expression. The first one is going to be express your vision for a relationship. There's no point in hiding what you want from someone out of fear that he may want something different if that's going to make you waste time and energy. And also, if that's going to muddy the feel for him to identify that you are exactly the type of woman he wants to be with. So expressing your vision means what is your end game for a relationship? Where do you see yourself growing that relationship? What are the things you want to experience? Do you want marriage? Do you want a family? Do you want to travel the world? Do you want to live in a different country? What are the things you're looking for? Not with him, with someone. The second thing you want to express is what are your needs? What are the things that you need? And it's going to be something that's evolving and changing in different stages of the relationship, from early dating to mid-dating to exclusivity to through a full-on relationship. There's going to be different needs you have. The clear, more direct, more specific, less, less gamey you are about saying, Here's what I need. The guy will say yes or no. You might compromise. You might figure out a way. But if you're keeping those things inside, he will have no idea how to unlock the keys to your heart. And the third thing you want to express is boundaries. Boundaries for how to connect with you, how to take you on dates, how to connect with you physically, how to connect with you sexually, how to create exclusivity. The more clear you have your boundaries, again, the easier you will make it for the right fit to the right energy 
to connect with you. Number three, make the decision that you will not force it. Once you express more of who you are, once you're clear about what's showing up for you, there's going to be guys who show up uh, with a lot of energy and then they might lose their steam. Date number two or three or month number two, don't force it. When you connect with a guy who's wishy-washy, when you connect with a guy who is not sure he wants it, when you connect with a guy who's not even sure he wants a relationship, the worst thing you can do is continue to invest emotionally to kind of see what you can do with your energy, with your time to convince him to be with you. If the guy, you being your open expression, you being clear, you shining your light is not the type of guy who wants to be with you, for your own self-dignity, move along. There's going to be a couple of things you need to do this. The first one is faith. Faith that when you're doing the right thing, what's best for you will show up and what's best for you might be somebody else other than this guy. The second one is a mindset of abundance. Mindset of abundance says that there's 4 billion men on the planet and if this guy isn't full on excited, pursuing, making things happen with you, that you can't love him enough for both of you. You can't invest in the relationship enough for both of you. You can take yourself and your greatness, shine them into a different direction and connect with someone who will want you so long as you're being clear and showing your boundaries as well. Now, before I share my last three shifts, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet you're not fully clear on the root cause that's keeping you single. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women attract their ideal relationships and all kinds of challenges that put it together in a simple quiz. You can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the number one reason you're still single. All you need to do if you want to participate is go to the first link in the description of this video. You will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and in 60 seconds or so, you have two things. The answer to the question why you're still single and a report that's going to share for your specific mind spot, the number one thing you can do today to cross that bridge between where you are and the type of connection that you want in a fraction of the time. Ship number four is I need you to master the art of asking great questions, asking inspiring questions, asking deep questions. A lot of people connect and they start the superficial level of talk. I'm not saying that you need to have deep conversations every single time or that all your questions need to be about things that are the meaning of life. But when you shy away from asking great questions, when you don't go the distance, you can't develop depth. You can't see what's in his heart. He can't necessarily see what's in your heart as well. So when you become courageous in asking questions that are challenging, in combination with questions that are fun, which typically are the bulk of what people ask each other in dates, but when you combine depth with fun, playfulness with something that really means something to you, with meaning, then you get a chance to really start knowing someone from early in the process. The more you know someone, the more the vulnerability layers start sharing back and forth, the more you can decipher if the values, if the ideas, if the vision, if the way this person sees the world is a match to you. And also, if you are a match to him, he'll start recognizing, he'll start feeling it in his heart. He'll start creating that sense of vulnerability with you from early on. Number five, reward his consistency, not with pursuit, but with your light. What does that mean? That when you are connected to yourself, when you are living a kind of life where you feel inspired on your own, you're the sunshine shining versus the moon who needs the sun to shine. When you have that type of experience, then when he shows up in your life and you continue expressing that light into his life, into his heart, he's going to feel intensely more alive in your presence than just on his own. It's just something that happens when he connects with you and he sees that awesomeness in you. He sees that open expression. You are in love with your life. And as a reflection of your in love with life, you're generously sharing that with him. Then you don't have to work really hard at asking him to go on lots of dates. You don't have to twist his arm to do things. He will either be drawn to connect with you or he won't. And if he is, he'll be far more drawn the more expressive you are with the light inside of you, which is something that all men crave and want and need. Last shift is hold your options open until you are certain he's the guy for you. A lot of women connect with men. They start doing the things that I'm sharing right now. They create a strong synergy with someone without really knowing him, without really vetting him for a specific amount of time. They decide that he is the guy they want to be with. And it's something that could work or not work, but why rush it? 
keep your options open until both of you have demonstrated through time that there's synergy, there's consistency, there's compatibility, and you're not just playing the Russian roulette. The more you can hold that line, and I'm not saying indefinitely, but the more you can hold that line of not being exclusive until you really have vetted each other, the more he's invested emotionally, time-wise, and you have the same thing. When, when you finally become exclusive, it's gonna be a real commitment. The earlier it happens, the more of a risk you're taking. And if you haven't gotten what you want in some time, my recommendation is wait longer to make sure that it's the right fit and he can continue investing and getting to know you and showing up in a way that you feel safe to open up to him. Hope this is helpful and useful. And if it is, it means the world to me and to my channel if you click like and subscribe. And if you'd like to continue learning how you can attract your ideal guy without the need for gimmicks, manipulation games or super techniques, make sure to click the next video right here.